good day YouTube. And welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today of the Rhino, and we have a beer that was sent to me by a very, very good French wizard. Sent to me by Guy, uh, formerly of Beer Guy Reviews in downtown Ottawa. Now from Dick, drinking in Canada. This is from the Covered Bridge Brewing Company. This is their Bridge Over the River Chai, which is a spiced ale. <coughs> Excuse me. I do apologize for that. But I'm not going to cut it out. 5.1% uh, alcohol by volume. I know it's going to piss off in the basement. He's going to get all worked up. I really like chai beer, so this one really intrigues me. I, I was unaware that there was a, uh, a canning line at Covered Bridge. Covered Bridge is really small. I've been told that they have expanded, so they would have room. Uh, they're in Stittsville, Ontario. Uh, IBU of this is 17.6. The alcohol, again, is 5.1. Ingredients, water, malted barley, hops, yeast... Uh, lactose, ginger, vanilla, cardamom, star anise, fennel, cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, and pepper. Not a big fan of star anise, but hey, that's me. We look forward, uh, we look towards the warming spices of India to create this spiced brown ale. Perfect for a cold Canadian winter. Like I said, I, I do, oh, serve between 12 and 14 degrees Celsius. It's actually probably right at that. I keep my house at like 19, my basement's a few degrees less. So this is probably right at 14 because it's been sitting on the floor over there. Um, right under the drafty basement window. One basement window's drafty, I gotta fix that. So I spent, I spent $1,100 on a door, right? I'm not great at woodworking, um, mostly due to my vision. And I went with uh, one of the most expensive companies in the area. Their door ended up being about the same price as everybody else because they were having a, a spring sale. So I, I bought this door in uh, in the, it got to me in the summer. I signed up in the spring. Uh, they they create the door like they build the door themselves and all that. So it's it's custom made and everything. But on this sale, it was the same as getting a store bought door put in. And they put it in in July ish. And I don't think any. Ooh, my phone's going off. I don't think anything of it because I mean it's July. Now it's the winter. This eleven hundred dollar door. There's a gap like this between like the. Well, I shouldn't say there's a gap that big, but there's light coming through at the sweep. So they didn't even fucking get it even close to uh, meshing. There's such a draft coming in. It's it's just as much of a draft coming in now as the forty five year old door that was on my fucking house before that. And I could have kept that 45-year-old door and not spent $1,100. Instead, I spent $1,100 on a door that's supposed to be really good, that where the sweep doesn't even fucking touch the bottom. And I didn't notice, because I'm blind, I don't notice fucking light coming in or anything. And my wife can't bend over, she's pregnant as fuck. And I, I notice it now with the uh, stuff coming in. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just uh, ranting and raving right now. So, this is a beautiful, like, ruby red to mahogany brown. It's, it's got those red hues to it but it's also brown. It's actually kind of swamp water brown up at the top. There is some haze to it because I cannot see my hand through it even up at the top. Uh, there was some off-white head. It's gone now. No, the tiniest snap crackle pops. Smell is divine. Yeah, that that's beautiful. The nutmeg shows up. The clove shows up. The cinnamon shows up. The ginger shows up. Beautiful maltiness in there, too. Just a malty sweetness. Almost a vanilla smell on here. Do they even say vanilla on here? <laughs> yeah, I missed it. There is vanilla right there. I said lactose, ginger, cardamom. Yeah, the vanilla right there. I, I don't pick up the star anise, which I'm surprised with, because I actually don't like star anise. So I'm surprised I'm not picking it up. But the vanilla, the clove... The vanilla, clove, nutmeg, cinnamon, all really, really big showings. Uh, lactose is in here too, which usually gives off a specific scent of sweetness to me, which I'm not picking up. But it could be hidden behind everything else. It smells divine. It does, it does smell. Out of the glass, out of the glass it smells like a spiced ale. Out of the can, it smells like a chai tea. So, I mean, I, I can't, I can't fault it. It smells right. Let's try it. Cheers.
Okay. It does smell better than it tastes. I should say, the can smells much better than it tastes. The glass, the glass smell and taste is pretty close to the same. Um, from the brown ale, you get a nice, you get a nice uh, malty sweetness, and you're also getting a uh, biscuity and slightly, uh, slightly earthy finish. Very, very English-esque brown ale. If you, if you're asking me, it, it, it suits the style. Uh, spice notes, a little bit of ginger, a little bit of clove, a little bit of nutmeg, a uh, little bit of cinnamon, but only in the drying aspect. Uh, if you've ever done the cinnamon challenge or anything and you've almost choked to death, you, you know how much cinnamon can dry your mouth out. And this is kind of doing that, it's just drying out my palate more so than doing anything else to it. Um, other than that... I'm not really picking up vanilla. I'm not picking up star anise, which I'm really surprised about, because, like I said, I I do not like uh, I do not like black licorice flavors at all. So I'm surprised I'm not picking up any of that. Uh, I don't pick up I don't pick up the lactose, and I'm usually fairly sensitive to lactose in beer. So I'm surprised about that. Now I've only taken two sips, so maybe I'll get more as I go in, but I don't know. About a medium mouthfeel. Nice light carbonation. The more I drink it, the more a little bit of that black licorice taste is coming up, but whether or not I'm actually tasting it or I'm psychosomatically tasting it because I keep talking about how much I dislike it, I don't know. It's not enough to really affect me though, so I think it's kind of psychosomatic. I think I'm doing it to myself. I think I'm forcing myself to taste it even though I don't really taste it. Now, I've had a lot of chai beers that tasted just like a chai tea, and I've loved them. This one, to me, smells, again, out of the can, just like a chai tea. Out of the glass, it's not really mingling, it's not really working the way I'd like it to be, but that doesn't mean it's not a good beer. I still think it's a very solid beer, I just don't think it's as chai as, uh, as it's making me think it should be. Um, whether or not that is just not enough hops being used, well not enough hops, not enough spices being used, which is probably what it is to me, or if it was done on purpose having the spices dialed back so that it would be more approachable to more people, I'm not sure which one of those two it is, but it doesn't really matter. Covered Bridge makes some solid beers. I don't think I've had a beer from Covered Bridge that I didn't like, now that I'm thinking about it, and this is another solid Covered Bridge beer. There's nothing wrong with this beer. This beer is solid. It is a good beer. I just, I was excited. I, I may have got myself too excited over it. When uh, when the picture of this was posted online, I was like, man, that, that cover looks amazing. Like, that artwork looks amazing. And that beer sounds divine. And I think it may have been, like, the first time I had the uh, double chocolate cherry stout, sorry, the triple chocolate cherry stout from Black Oak where I got myself all excited about what the beer was going to be, and then I had the beer, and I'm like, yeah, that's not what I thought it was going to be. And I think that's the point I'm at right now. Uh, out of 10 on the beer? Uh, 775. It is a solid beer. Like I said, I would buy it again. I would like it. I would like to drink it again if I go up to Ottawa and they had this. Uh, maybe me, Guy, and his beer minion who picked this up for me and gave it to Guy would, would be able to share some of it together, because I actually do like the beer, I just, I just wish it had more, I wish it had more vanilla, I wish it had more, uh, more ginger, more gin, uh, cinnamon, more, more, more of the flavors that would make it what it smells like out of the can, uh, it's not a bad beer though, cheers guys. <sighs> Maybe the brown ale muted it a little bit too, I mean, Maybe having such strong malts and such uh, such a nice earthy earthy bready finish covered up some of the spiciness to this. Maybe, maybe. Bye, guys. <laughs>